You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Welcome back to The Splash. I'm Sheena Manan, and my guest on the show this week is Zachary Yaksich, President and Executive Director of Alana's Foundation. Zachary, thanks for stopping by the studio today. We appreciate your time. Oh, thank you for having me. Appreciate Absolutely. It. Now, you've become an expert over the last several years on the flu vaccine. Can you tell us a little bit about why the flu vaccine is such an important topic? Well, the flu is um, actually a, a serious more serious illness than most people think. Most people uh, use the term flu when they feel, don't feel well as a generic term that they don't feel well, but the flu can actually kill, can actually kill you. Um, it, it kills over 36,000 people a year and hospitalizes over 250,000. So, and it's, it's a vaccine preventable disease. So it's as simple as getting a vaccine to prevent such a tragedy. Yeah, absolutely. Why do you think that so many people, myself included, uh, prior to meeting you, didn't quite understand the importance of something like this? Well, like I said, I think that we all are guilty of using it as a uh, saying that you have the flu as a generic term. Um, the other thing is that the flu vaccine you have to get annually. It has to, it's something mm -hmm. you have to get reoccurring. And I think that um, from the timing of it, when you get yourself a flu shot, I mean, um, like back to school shots for your children, they're, they're missed, you know, you get the, when you get those, the vaccine isn't available. And it kind of just slips through the, tr the cracks. I mean, even though the doctor may recommend it, you have good intentions a lot of times, they slip through the cracks. And a lot of people have the mindset, well, I didn't get sick last year, so there's really no need for me to get it this year. Right. And it's, it's one of those things that constantly needs to be reminded. Yeah, and like you said, if you don't get it, you might have some devastating consequences. Now, you recently, several years ago, had a tragic experience surrounding this topic, and you went on to start Alana's Foundation to educate people about the importance of the flu vaccine. Do you want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about what Alana's Foundation is and what you stand for? Sure. Um, Alana's Foundation is, is named after my daughter, who um, in 2003, she died from the flu. Mm -hmm. um, so at that time, uh, I was guilty of the same. I didn't know how uh, devastating the flu could be. So I wanted to make, I wanted to prevent such a tragedy from happening to another family. And I wanted to do it through education because I didn't know about it. So the Linus Foundation was formed and the, the mission is to educate people about the importance of getting annual flu shot and hopefully in doing so to raise the vaccination rates and prevent uh, tragedy. Um, we also work very closely with the uninsured and underinsured populations because mm -hmm. uh, while forming this foundation we found that um, a lot of people didn't get the flu shot because they didn't they couldn't afford it. So um, we wanted to help those those populations. Wow, that's incredibly sad. And yeah. for those of you watching one more time, we are, I'm sitting with Zachary Yaksich, President and Executive Director of Alana's Foundation. And we're talking about this important topic of the flu vaccine. Now, when this tragedy happened and occurred, did you have any sort of support from the community here in West Bloomfield? I know that you're a resident that sort of helped you a little bit to get through it or make things a little bit better. Yeah, um, uh, Alana went to school um, at a local school here and Shortly after uh, her tragic loss, the community really rallied around our family. Um, they actually put together a fund and commissioned uh, an artist to make a um, stained glass uh, rainbow. Alana, at the time they were studying Martin Luther King and they asked all the children to uh, name what their dream would be. And her dream was that there'd be rainbows all over the world. So. They made a beautiful, beautiful rainbow yeah. stained glass with her saying underneath it, and it's at the uh, local school in the front of the school when you. That's enter, very so, powerful. Yeah. Wow, absolutely. Which really helped helped us and made us, you know, yeah. helped us get through the grieving process. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was wonderful. Now, are there any sort of local events that Alana's Foundation does here in West Bloomfield Township? If so, can you tell us about one of those? Yeah, we work um, with the local fire department every year. They have an annual open house, and. Um, we offer a flu a flu clinic there, and it's a little bit special to us, or in because the firefighters there are actually the, the first responders when Alana got sick, mm -hmm. and actually took uh, Alana to the hospital. So uh, yeah. we appreciate that, and it's. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Now, for those who are watching and they're feeling touched by this story, as I am all over again, what can they do to be involved and to help Alana's Foundation to spread the message even further? Sure. Um, 
you know, you can, we, Alanis Foundation is 100% volunteer, so we rely um, solely on donations in order to put on these flu clinics. So you can uh, donate to Alanis Foundation, and you can do that through our website at www.alanisfoundation.org. Um, if you'd like to volunteer or plan a, a clinic for your local school, church, community, you can reach us through the website as well, and we could uh, set up a clinic and help increase those vaccination rates. No, absolutely, and we want to help you any way that we can. Such yeah. an important topic. Well, thanks so much for coming by the studio. We really appreciate your time oh. and talking to us about this information. And once again, everyone, this is Zachary Yaksic from Alana's Foundation. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99, or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Blake's FM.